I got a cop and that guy. You know what I think we're going to do? Here, let's go back down. Let's be really quiet. Gotta whisper because they can actually hear me through my mic, if you guys didn't know that. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set at the nightmare speed. We play on a map that's almost entirely made up of wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Uh, but we are currently in the one and only very small green biome that exists on the entire map. Okay, so I'm bringing you back for an update. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you is I, I ran out of gasoline because uh, I've been working with the auger a lot. And so I started going around renting some cars and I came here to the oil company to get some of the gas here. Even though the amount of gas you can get from this place compared to the way that it used to be is pathetic, but that's beside the point. And then, if you guys didn't know this, um, this big uh, tank here at the oil company has a couple of shoddy Messiah crates inside. So I busted through the wall here. Um, just got some gun parts and uh, military boots and a repair kit out of this one. But look what we found in this one. Boom. So we have our first M <coughs> excuse me, M60 machine gun and a green one at that, which isn't too bad. Uh, plus another Magnum, though I already have... I actually already have a Magnum anyway, so that that's not that big of a deal. But uh, fighting the M60 is really cool um, because very shortly here we're going to be able to start, you know, making tons and tons of ammo. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be a boon for sure. So I wanted to show that to you. Now the other thing that I think we're going to do, I'll uh, I'll give you an update on you know where we are with the base too. Of course, we'll go take a look at that. But um, I have three points to spend now. And before I, uh, before I burn those on Intellect 6, I just want to see if I can find some nerdy glasses. Um, and so that means we need to find a place that's going to have some lockers in it. That's the, our, our best chance, you know, for finding that stuff. And I haven't, uh, I haven't paid real close attention to all of the POIs here in town. So let's let's kind of look around a little bit. Now I know there's going to be some lockers in the Shamway factory, but that place is is very dangerous, very very dangerous for us to be going into right now. Uh, we're just not we're not prepared for Shamway factory. I mean, we could try and maybe ninja in and use some crowd control. You know. Um, you know, try it that way, but before we resort to that, I mean, you know, we if nothing else, we could go down to the mega city and look for, you know, like some schools. Schools are really good places to do that because, you know, there's lots of lockers in schools. And they're not quite as dangerous as the Shamway Factory. So, uh, yeah, I don't think the Shamway Factory is a good idea for us right now. But let's ride around a little bit and just see uh, if there is actually a school, like a Favels Academy, for example. Um in town here and see you know if there is then they're gonna have a decent amount of lockers inside and then we'll work our way over to you know the base too and, and I'll show you uh, where we're at with that and, and I need to continue <clears throat> also getting gasoline so we're just gonna hit some cars along the way I'm not gonna I'm trying I'm gonna try not to do too much of this on camera but let's just hit a few more cars because I do need gasoline and wrenching cars is really our our primary way, uh, other than you know checking uh, gas pumps and whatnot uh, to get gasoline. And you know there's an abundance of cars. What if and when we run out of cars in town here, we can always go back out into the wasteland and hit those cars too. But we're not gonna. What the hell? Oh, she's inside. We're not gonna spend like a lot of time doing this. I'm just gonna hit a couple more. Okay, um, let's also check these um, gas pumps, and then after that, I'll stop. Uh, whoops, I'll stop looking for gas, and we'll start looking for a place to find lockers. 
and um, I'll also show you where we're at with the base too. Okay, so um, don't know if there would be lockers in there. Probably not, or not enough to be significant anyway. Oh, you know what? Uh, Motel 8 would actually be a decent place to look for that sort of thing, because there's going to be, um, um, there's going to be, like, dressers, I think, and stuff in here. Oh, wait, there's a school right there. Is that poopy pants? Let's take a look at this. This might be a better bet for us here. Yeah, all right. That's exactly what I wanted to find is a, a favale, favales, yeah, favales maybe. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, oh, I took apart, I took apart a uh, an ice, uh, an ice machine, and I got some snowballs. That's kind of funny. All right, well, let's um put some of this extra stuff in here. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, before we do this, uh, let's go back to our forges. And uh, we'll, and I'll also give you you know update you on where we're at the base, and we'll drop a few things off, and then we'll go then we'll go do uh, Favales Academy, good and proper like. Now uh, I've set up a couple of forges over here uh, at Hurry Harry's, uh, just because again I wanted to make sure that the heat these things were I'm running these 24/7, so I want to make sure the heat they generate is not near our build site, and so I've been you know mostly pumping stone in here. We did make um we did make a few hundred uh, forged iron too, um, but I'm mostly pumping stone in here, you know, so that we can get our our concrete on, you know. Um, so let's go ahead. But we have we have more brass too. So let's get um let's get some brass going in here. Do I have any more in the bike? Yeah, I got that piece right there. And we've got another radiator as well. Okay, so we'll just um, stick that there. And we'll grab whatever concrete we currently have at the moment. Okay. And then right over here, I have a, uh, a strip mine. And there is iron and coal down in there. So we're working on that. And I just, you know, I put a... I've got a pathway to get out of here in case we get, you know, ganked by Zekers. And I also, you know, keep my, um, my, uh, auto turret, or junk turret, rather, down there to help, you know, kind of watch for zombies, too. And then over here, uh, I started a nitrate mine <clears throat> because I, you know, I'm starting to make gunpowder. And I decided not to make the Kim bench right now. Yeah, so kind of the same thing going on over here. Uh, with some nitrate, uh, but I said I decided not to make the kimbench because uh, the trader actually has a working kimbench. I forgot about that, and so I'm just using his kimbench right now, you know, to make gunpowder and stuff. And I've already checked him, and he does not have any nerdy glasses for sale. But I did buy a few other things from him. I bought some glue and I bought some leather from him just because leather was kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass to find. So I just went ahead and bought some because you know I had the money. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on over here. And like I said, we'll drop some stuff off too. So I have a I have a workbench uh, that I've made, and I've made some some spikes that we're going to put around the perimeter of the base here. A couple of uh, cement mixers uh, going on, and let's actually continue uh, to make concrete mix because we're going to need a lot. We are going to need a lot for everything we need to do. So let's uh, put that stuff back there. All right, I'm going to offload all this extra stuff that we got. Uh, I don't know that we're going to use the M60 yet. In fact, we definitely are not going to use the M60 yet because we don't have the ammo for it. But we will. Uh, we will. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, all this stuff that we wrenched off of the cars, uh, the bullets, the Magnum, we'll keep in there. Uh, the leather, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to frog my throat there. Okay, I think I want to keep the rest of that stuff with me for now. 
Um, we could use, we could stand to eat. Let's go ahead and eat this bacon and eggs now. And then I've got, I've got more. In fact, let's go ahead and actually make more. I've been, you know, grabbing birds' nests along along the way as we as we go along. So, okay, that should be good. At some point, you know, we're gonna have to actually start going hunting again too, because uh, we're getting a little bit low on meat. I haven't seen a single critter since I um, I made the mistake of letting the game know I was looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid game. Uh, isn't that the way it goes, though, man? Isn't that the way it goes? Jeez Louise. Okay. Anyway, um, all right, let's take a look at a building, and then we're going to go back to Favale's Academy. Okay, so I basically have the uh, the outside uh, part of it uh, done with, you know, with the steep, uh, the steep uh, wedge here. And now what I'm going to do on the inside here, and... Uh, the corners that are hidden with the blocks, I, I made sure and upgraded those uh, to reinforced concrete before I covered them up. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to dig a pit down here, but we're going to come in another block. So all the way around the inside perimeter, we're going to have a whole nother wall set up, and that's going to be actually the main wall that's going to support the base itself. So this is really, you know, just for the outside portion here. All of this will eventually be upgraded to reinforced concrete too, you know, as we as we get the resources. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing um, off camera, of course, is I'm going to be digging this out and then uh, putting another wall in here uh, all the way up to the edge of that. And then uh, at the top of that, once we get the next wall in, you know, and everything's upgraded to concrete, reinforced concrete, um, then I'm going to put in a uh, probably a, a, a floor with bars uh, with a, a hatch in the middle. Um, and then this is just going to be a little bit deeper pit. We'll probably take it down at least to, you know, to stone. And, um, you know, then so what the, the idea is that if we get rushed by a bunch of Zeeks, they'll come through here because we'll be up in the middle. They'll drop down to the pit and then we just throw some grenades on their head and blow them to kingdom come. So that's the basic idea. Um, <clears throat> I am going to also, though, put spikes around the base as well, just as an extra protection. You know, that'll take care of Screamers. And, you know, the onesie twosie zombies and we'll get them upgraded, you know, to iron spikes too. So that, you know, this is really just more going to be for if we happen to get rushed by a big running horde, which by the way, uh, has happened to me multiple times now. Usually the bastards come at nighttime too, and it's a pain in the ass. But anyway, we've survived so far. Uh, by the way, I haven't, I haven't died in a long time. I, I, this isn't a dead is dead series, so that's not really that important. But, you know, we're still only holding 11 deaths. We've been uh, at 11 deaths for a very long time now. Um, okay, so. Let's see. So that pretty much gives you an update right now on where we're at with the base. So we, um, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm holding off on these three points. Um, so what we're going to do is let's go to Favos Academy or Favales Academy. And let's see if we can luck out and find um, some nerdy glasses. Or, or even lucky looters. I mean, I want both of those, really. And um, if we can't... Then I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and continue pumping um, uh, continue pumping intellect anyways because I mean I eventually am gonna probably take this all the way to nine and then we should by that point I would hope you know that we should have found um, nerdy glasses and then we can use the nerdy glasses to make uh, get the points for the gyrocopter this is again assuming we don't come across the schematics uh, for those I do have. Uh, one of two schematics uh, for the gyrocopter. I think I have the accessories. So, you know, we might find that before we get to that point, which would be great, because then we can save points for some other things that we want to do. Uh, all right, so let's pull this stuff out of here. I'm going to put... I keep hitting the F key, because that's the key you use in ARC for uh, opening stuff. Been playing a lot of ARC uh, lately. I don't know if you guys were uh, here when I explained this uh, a couple of episodes ago, but I'm also... Uh, right in the middle of, of doing a, a story mode playthrough of ARC where we're basically doing all the bosses and the ascensions and going through all the explorer notes. Um, so we're having a lot of fun with that. But anyway, sometimes my brain gets confused between the two games. Okay, so we're we're sort of kind of low on shotgun shells. The other thing, the one thing I have not mined yet is lead. So I need to hit a lead deposit too. But we should have enough ammo as long as we're you know, somewhat conservative to get through Favales Academy. And I think I have a, a few more 9 mils left uh, at our 
at our first base, you know, where our bedroll currently is on the top of the awning there. And I do have, I don't know, six, seven, eight hundred gunpowder that I've already made at the traders, at, in the traders camp bench. What time is it? You know what? Let's actually go grab that now. So, it, you know, the bad thing about using the traders Kimbage is that you can't access it at nighttime, right? So we will definitely be making our own as soon as possible. But before I can actually start replenishing my ammo, and I'm trying to mostly just use 9mm because uh, it's the you know cheapest to make, we need to uh, mine some lead up. And there's a few, you know, there's a few lead deposits around. But let's grab this now. Oh, we got over a thousand. Nice. And, you know, the other thing we could make, too, is shotgun shells. Shotgun shells are a little bit easier to make just because they don't require the brass. Uh, also, I want to look at... See, you reset on day 40. So it's... Oh, actually, okay, you reset tomorrow. So you could potentially have the nerdy glasses and or the lucky looter glasses tomorrow. So that's something to consider, too. Maybe, you know, I wait another night before I spend those points. Um, he's got some lead here. How much would it cost to buy that? hundred? Oh, that wouldn't, that's not that much. I don't have my money. Oh, well, you know what? Let's not worry about that yet. Let's not worry about that yet. Okay, so... Pavales Academy. We are looking for lucky looters and nerdy glasses, specifically. I think we have pretty decent clothing. Yeah, we've got uh, we got shorts. Oh, you know what? We could use BDUs. So if we find if we come across BDUs, uh, we could use those. And we do have the agility uh, goggles on now. So that helps a little bit with our pistol damage, but right now I really would just like to get the Lucky Looters and the Nerdies. And you know, because I've been doing a lot of mining too, the Nerdies are going to help with XP as well. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to definitely run into some resistance in here. Um, let's get this down here. And this down here. I got all those lockers in there. Getting anybody's attention? Oh yeah, here are the sleepers. Okay, let's put that down right now. And we got to Hawaii Five O. Um, let's go ahead and send him a 762 to the noggin. Man, tough son of a bitch. Okay. Look at how much damage he did that in one hit. Oh, burn, baby, burn. Is this guy like feral or something? Oh my goodness. Yep, he was feral. <laughs> 1,200 hit points. Good lord. Little mama. Oh, she was a feral little mama. What the hell's with all the ferals? What are my... What is my game stage right now? 150. It's, it's getting up there. It's getting up there. Uh, all right, so here, let's put this. Yeah, that Zeker is in another room. So um, here, let's put that gunpowder in the bike. We need we need to take a, a pill too because we got whacked. We got whacked and smacked. Don't need to carry that around. Uh, all right, so let's um, do our usual. Make sure we have a full health cap first. 
And then we'll throw down one of these. Okay, that Zeker's getting close to getting out, isn't he? Or she. He, she. Throw back a couple of those. All right. Nurse Nancy. Is that a feral nurse, Nancy? Nope. Just a normal. Okay. Let's just kind of assess the situation before we start looting like a madman. Oh shit, there's a cop. Um. Oh, here comes Edgar. What are you what are you doing, man? You're at the wrong place. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Boom. <laughs> what kind of school is this, man? Holy crap. Ferals and cops? Oh, wow. He did a number on the floor, didn't he? Dang. All right, here. Let's clear this out of the way. We'll just block that off. Hopefully, it'll discourage any baddies from coming. Okay, so does that clear everything down? on this side. Yeah, there's a safe over there too. Okay, let's go look over on this side. Got some bookcases too, that'll be good. We got a Nurse Nancy and a Hawaii Five-O. And we got another Hawaii 5 Oh, shit, he's out already. Good. Gravy. Oh, we got dysentery. How do we get dysentery? How did that happen? Hey, 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 just set that up. Damn it. All right, let's get a little hot. Guys are like feral, man. Holy crap. Nothing's ever easy, right? That's our motto. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. How in the hell did I get dysentery? Didn't I drink normal water? Oh, I guess you... Oh, I forgot about that. You can actually get dysentery from normal water. 4% chance. Stupid, 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 stupid. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I really do hate it. Nurse Nancy. Hopefully you're not feral. I don't think she is because we knocked her down with one shot, so. Oh. Well, it sounded like somebody was coming behind me. Where are you? Come on, Nurse Nancy. Okay, let's go back in. Stupid dysentery. From boiled water. What the hell? You are dead, right? Okay. 
Okay, so I clear the whole bottom floor. Yeah. All right, let's hit the lockers first. Oh, come on, man. They're all freaking broken. I don't need football helmets. That's just one zombie? Yeah, it's just one zombie. Did I just see something run around out in front there? Like running horde? Oh, yeah, running horde. We don't want to get their attention. Yeah, let's just let the those guys roll right on by, man. I can't believe freaking dysentery. What the hell? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we whacked it right through the door. I love it. feral too nope she's normal Whew. okay this is intense man more intense than I figured it was gonna be okay let's keep looting the lockers Lucky looters. Awesome. Okay. So we got 50% of what we're looking for. I hope that's not like the whole horde coming. Is it just you? I think the majority of them have maybe moved on. Maybe. Is that it? All right, fan frickin' tastic. Let's put uh, these on right now. It is gonna reduce our pistol damage a little bit, you know, from losing those, but that's okay. The lucky looters could actually even help us uh, find uh, the other ones. This gives us more cold resist, but less heat resist. I don't think we're really gonna ever be in a cold situation on this map. Um, what are we... Oh, we already have a leather duster on. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Why is... Oh, okay. So this has 18 heat resist. This has 21. So this is still better. So we'll just um, sell that or scrap it or whatever. Okay, I guess that's it for the lockers. Um, so let's just go through the rooms. Uh, we got a couple safes and some bookshelves to check. Uh, we already know machine gunner. There we go. We will learn the reflex sight. That'll be handy later. We already know the laser sight. Not really particularly handy. Oh, doggone it. Why couldn't that have been the frickin' uh, chassis? Uh, stupid game. <laughs> stupid game. Uh all right. Okay, let's try this room next. We got a backpack there with some chili. All right, what's this one? 10% uh, more damage against coyotes. Completely useless to us because there's no coyotes anywhere in this world. So we will sell that. Anything lootable over here? I could wrench the chairs, I guess, for uh, leather, but we got we got a decent supply of leather right now, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, 
Uh, know that already. More paper. That desk is not lootable. Old sham sandwich. Delicious. No Zeekers in here. Okay, um, let's scrap a doodle that. We'll take the coin. Let's scrap a doodle that and that. And this. And these stupid, worthless football helmets that aren't worth a crap because they're level ones. Um, anything else? We don't need four things of scrap iron. I will take the gunpowder. And we'll take the paper. Oh, man, too bad, too bad the, those were not motorcycle handlebars. That's what we need. We already have the chassis. We just need the handlebars. Didn't I see a safe in one of these rooms? Maybe it was on the other side of the building. I can't remember. It probably was. But let's just double check so I don't miss it. Okay. Let's go back outside and unload, and then we'll come back in and do the other side of the building. We've got a couple of school buses there. That'll be great for wrenching because you get a lot of stuff from the school buses. Zeke. All right. Is there anything else we can put in there? I think we're... We can put the jar in there. Um, this we don't actually need, so let's scrap that. That sells for 160, 100, 160, 160, 160. Yeah, those are probably worth hanging on to since the trader's right nearby. I got the crap of doodles, man. Okay. Let's check uh, these rooms now. Make sure there's nobody in there. Oh, yeah. uh, we already know that. I don't care about that. Actually, you know what, though? We could scrap that. I don't do those quests. Just never really, really cared much for them. Partly because they're really actually very dangerous to do on insane uh, nightmare speed. Because you're basically out in the middle of the, uh, uh, you know, out in the open. Uh, with no cover or anything. And it, oh nice. It spawns a bunch of zombies in. And they could be really nasty zombies too. Alright, let's check this. Okay, we don't have uh, our cash Ola on us right now, so we're going to skip that. I can harvest those for cloth later, but we're not hurting for cloth at all. Okay, that's the safe that I saw. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing here behind these guys. Okay. Take that stuff. And now let's get our lock pick out. Let's see what's in this safe. Very happy that we found the lucky looters. Very happy. Because we already have lucky looter level four, so I don't know if that gives us an effective level five or not, but it definitely will make it even better than it already is. Um, worthless. Scrap that. Okay, well, I guess that's it for the 
bottom floor. Um, no, we didn't go in there, did we? Yeah, let's go in here. One more bookcase. More paper. That's okay. We can use paper. We can use paper. Um, this will give more cold resist, but less heat. We just don't need that. Uh, so I'll scrap a doodle. Okay, I don't know if the upper floor of this place has uh, more lockers or not. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drop off some of this stuff in the school bus. Let's just leave all that there. That way we can scrap. And I'll, I'll come back for this stuff later. Yeah, we didn't care about that because there aren't going to be... We're not going to have any coyotes. We only have wasteland biome and this one little green biome. So coyotes are only in the desert. that in there too. Is this worth selling? 95? Eh, it's borderline. How much leather would we get out of it if we just scrapped it? Let's take a look. What in the hell? Where'd you come from? She must have heard, heard me open the bus. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to scrap this. 13, yeah, you know what? That's worth 13 leather. That's... Then I heard more footsteps. That's worth 13 level leather. Okay, let's go up to the next floor. I'm sure we're going to have more resistance up there. Did we... No, we still haven't gone in there. Got everything out of here, though, right? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Take those. Take that, too. That's pretty decent stuff, all... All told. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's go upstairs. Oh, good. There are more lockers up here. Okay, we got a cop and that guy. You know what I think we're going to do? Here, let's go back down. Let's be really quiet. Got to whisper because they can actually hear me through my mic. You guys didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Don't wake up. All right. You know what we need to do too. Let's eat. Uh, cause we're we're done with the the shit skis now. So let's get our our caps back. So I don't have room for that. Okay, I was going to grab these. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Okay, so we'll, we'll grab those. Let's also... Uh, let's put this down too. Just for a little extra firepower. And then, you know, because we do have a cop, I want to get... Uh, I want to get the AKs in action. We are really low on 762s, but we'll be able to, you know, very soon here, like I said, we'll, we'll be able to start mass producing. The ammo. I don't want to wake them up until I can ambush them. Very, very quiet. Okay. So, let's just Toss this one without igniting it. Ha ha ha! 
Okay, there you go. Oh, we got more incoming. Oh, it's too late. Oh, run, 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 run. How come I'm running so... Oh, I'm crouched, that's why. <laughs> I'm going. How come I'm running so slowly here? Smash his brains in. I'm a little nervous about something sneaking up behind me. Phew. Okay. Let's try this again. I was like crouched and I was going, how come I'm running so slow? We probably better take this now. No better time than the present, right? This place is not a place you can just simply waltz right on into without any resistance. My goodness. It's kind of like the high school. The high school's that way, too. All right. We got a couple of rooms over here we got to check. Actually, here, let's hit the lockers first. Nope. 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 Damn it. Damn it, Jim. That's it for the lockers, eh? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Try to see if there's anybody in there. What about in here? Uh, I don't see any baddies in there. All right, let's try this one. Clear. Nothing in the bookcases. Dog on it. Okay, let's try this one. Couple bookcases. Paper, and we already know that. <sighs> All right. Let's try this room. Pistols. And some glue. That's good. Oh, nice. Two more wrenches. And some shoddy shells and acid. Good deal. More acid. Did we check this? Yeah. Nothing up there. All right. Let's hit the, the last couple of rooms. Then we're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, okay. Three bookcases. Nothing. Nothing, and very nice. Okay, we will do that. And zooming uses 15% less stamina. Good. Um, use. Okay, those were pretty decent things. Can't complain too much about that. Looks like we got a back back here. And last room. One bookcase. Already got it. Do we know the normal grenade? I generally... Oh, we do. Oh, okay, that's good. That's actually really good. I didn't know we had learned that yet. I prefer the normal grenades in most cases because usually when I use uh, grenades, I'm... You know, I, I need to bounce them off of something, and so the contact grenades, of course, don't work very well for that. They certainly have their use of the contacts. All right, I don't think there's anything else here, right? Um, don't remember 
there being anything else. Is there like a, a way to get up on a roof? Did we check this? Yeah. Let's just look one more time because I wasn't really paying attention to that. See if there's a like a roof access. Don't see anything in there. No, nothing in here. And then what about here? So I don't, I, I don't, even, I don't even know if there even is anything on the roof in this place. I suppose we could nerd pull up. There's a roof out here. Got some uh, radiators, or I mean, air conditioners that we can get brass from. Okay, let's just nerd pull up there really quick. I know we're running a little long here, so we gotta wrap this up, but. I'm just wondering, you know, if there's going to be a fat loots at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. I just don't know how to how you would get up here other than nerd pulling. Like if there's actually supposed to be a pathway to get up here. Not that I can see. This is all just open up, open in there. Okay, let's just check the top of this, and then we'll be satisfied that we've looked. Everywhere we need it to. Yeah, that's just a... Just a skylight. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So, we found one of the two things we were looking for. Um, the Lucky Looters. And I'm very happy about that. I think what we're going to do is, you know, ultimately... Ultimately, we're either going to grind all the way to intellect nine and we we just we have to have you know find lucky looters by then because i am not going to spend i'm not going to go all the way to boom or wait I'm, a, I'm sorry i'm on the wrong thing i'm not going to go all the way to mastermind um and actually you know what the trader resets tomorrow too so i'm going to wait till tomorrow when the trader opens up and see if he has um nerdy glasses if he doesn't, then we're going to go ahead and spend two points on Intellect 6, and then the third point, because we have three, we'll put into Grease Monkey so that we can make the motorcycle. So one way or the other, the next time you guys see me, the next time I bring you back uh, for an update, we are going to have a motorcycle. Uh, for sure. And then, um, you know, if we end up having to spend the points, we're, they're not wasted because... You know, I eventually want to make the gyrocopter. Whether we come across, you know, we still have some time to come across the schematic uh, for it. We know the accessories. We just need the the chassis. Um, but if we don't, you know, then we get all the way to nine, and then we'll have we well we're bound to have nerdy glasses at that point, which will give us an effective ten, which means then that we can uh, make the gyrocopter. And of course, we'll make the four by four along the way too. So that's kind of where we're at with the points. So I'm, I'm really focused on this, but, you know, once we kind of get uh, where we need to go with the vehicle, then we're going to have to kind of reassess what we want to do with points. It really would behoove me to put a few more points into 69 and Motherload uh, with all the mining and stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, not only because we'll get more materials, but we'll also get more XP. So what I might actually do once we get the motorcycles is come back to strength and... You know, I'll have to boost actual strength itself up a little bit, but also boost these up. Uh, and that will pay off for us in the long run. So I think that's kind of what we're looking at for points. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrench uh, all of these ACs on the roof to get the brass. And then when that's done, I'll just head back to the base and uh, keep working on that. Go see the trader in the morning to see if they have um, nerdies. If they don't, then I'm just going to take those points. And I will bring you guys back at some point in the near future with an update on where we're at at that point. And that's it.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and stay safe and stay away from other people. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.